Hi, everybody. Welcome back to EA Sports. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. Well, to almost steal a uh, bullpen analogy from baseball, there's a chance to bring in the closer here tonight. Yeah, you bet. Step over another hurdle, James. Get to the next series as fast as you can. Centers are lined up. Official ready to drop the puck. A critical game for both sides here, and we are underway. Hershey's got the puck along the boards. Grabs it in his own end. Handles the puck. Strong defensive effort. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Wrist shot from the slot. Big save. Hershey's moving it into the offensive end. Hartford's got the puck in their own end. Handles it again. Takes it from the right side. Sends the pass over. Nice pass. Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. From the left side, they gain the zone. Cuts to the paint. Puck grab by Pilon. Quick feed to Sprong. Moves it on over to Brodzinski. And he gains the zone here. The Bears gain possession along the wall. Good hit to pump him off the puck. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Here's a blast. Misses over the net. Now he's going to have to adjust the sights on that one. That thing's off target by a long way. Strong's lugging the puck. Gains the zone through center. Along the half wall with the puck. Shot. Big save in front. Another stop by the goaltender. Moved up ahead here in the neutral zone. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. Long jam in front. That's broken up. The Bears get a hold of the puck along the boards. The Wolfpack have it now. With the stop. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. Great reflexes, another save. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. Puts it to the front of the net. Snaps it onto the net. On the backhand in front. Misses. Uh, you don't get in here very often. Get it on the net. That's going to be a frustration for him as he goes back to the bench. Wax it into the offensive zone. The Bears scoop it up along the boards. Takes the pass. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. Snaps one on net. Stopped by the goaltender. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. Still no score in this one. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Answered the call there. Kincaid's always so secure in his save selection. Nice stop, but the rebound in the corner is the best part. Schilling's got it in the defensive end. The Wolfpack have the puck in the open ice. Here's a shot. Makes the save. Big stop by the keeper. High quality chance, high quality save. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. Hershey's got a hold of the puck. Takes the feed. Hershey's looking to break out. We've got a penalty coming up on the play. Well, the official's going to give him two minutes to think about that one. Yeah, you can argue for a few seconds, James, I guess, but... You already know at this point you're going to sit down. The Bears will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. Well, hard work earns the first power play of the game for them, and now they've got to take advantage of it. They'll start with the faceoff, of course, in the offensive zone. Denies him with a save! 47 seconds.
Hershey's got it in the offensive zone. Slides the puck over. Denies him on the play. And they move the puck out of harm's way. Receives the pass. The Bears play it along the wing. Stopped by the goaltender. Penalty coming up here as the play is stopped. You call that a hatchet job with that slash? I call that chopping broccoli right there, James. <laughs> Very good reference. The Bears with a five on three, and they've got loads of time to work with here. With such a long five on three power play in front of them, they can afford to be patient. Don't take the first shot, take the best shot. The Bears have it behind the net. Moves inside! His reflexes on display tonight. Yeah, he gets out on top of the shooter. There's really nowhere for that puck to go. Nice zone entry from the right side. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Great balance as he scoops it back up. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. The Bears have it behind the cage. Skates across the blue line. Puts the puck on net. Big chest save as he gobbled that one up with the trapper. Kincaid's able to make the save, as we see here. This is a good scoring chance, but he's in good position. Well past the midway mark of this period. We've still got zeros on the board. Pelos won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. Blocked in traffic. The Wolfpack have gained control of the puck shorthanded. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Both teams back to even strength. Really nice effort by the penalty-killing unit on that one. A lot of head shaking on the bench when you go back after a power play like that. Well executed, lots of pressure, just couldn't finish. Oh, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. The official signaling for a penalty as play is called. Hooking the call and maybe a little sell job along the way? A little bit, but the player's got to move his feet. As soon as you stop, if it's even close, you're going to get nabbed. And the man advantage unit comes out to go to work. Well, they'll get their first power play in a game that is scoreless. Take advantage if you can. See if you can get on the board or at least get your team a leg up. Time of the penalty, 11 minutes, 16 seconds. The setters will glide into the dot. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. Gets it out of his own end. Hartford's got the puck along the wall. Works it across to Jones. It's a two-on-one. Puts it up front. Taken by Jones. How did he stop that one? And he came out and challenged him. Good save. abilities are clear right here on this scoring chance. That wrister tests them out. Nice job tying up his opponent. Turns him away! More than half the frame has been played here. The game is still scoreless. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. Hartford's won the draw and they'll go to work. Gobbles the puck up there with the chest. And there's the whistle giving him a chance to exhale. Jones wins it in the offensive zone. Moves the puck. Blocked in front. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. Call that a win for the penalty killers on that one. Yeah, he slams it off the glass. Now the power play's got to go back to get set up. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Brzezinski's taken down to the ice. We got a penalty coming up. And here's the official call as play is whistled dead. The Bears have been handed a two-minute penalty for tripping. 
His stick gets in between his feet, and when the player goes down, the penalty's going to be called. Hartford's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. They've had limited opportunities, but the power play coach now has to get into their ear and give them a little something that will help them crack through. Time of the penalty, 13 minutes, 35 seconds. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Nieves has won the draw. Puck scooped up by Pilon. They clear the zone. Hartford's got a hold of the puck. Here they come on the attack. Manages to hang on. Copley's going to cover it up and get a whistle. Even with the traffic starting to close in, he had to grab that when he did. Past the halfway mark of this period, we're still scoreless. Hershey's won the draw. And the puck leaves the zone. The Wolfpack have possession along the boards. Big play inside the defensive zone. Sends it over. Takes the feed. Moves it around along the half wall. Right in the slot. Knocked away. Sends a pass over. Tries to the crease. Still tied here as the power play fails to come up with a goal. The only positive for the power play there is they didn't have to skate up and down the ice. They didn't generate anything. They had it in the zone, but really nothing very good about it. And that's picked off in front. Handles the puck. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. Nice save from point-blank range. Flashes the leather right in the slot on a difficult chance. Just here in the late stages of this frame, still scoreless in this one. Hershey's won the faceoff. Right to the middle, puts one on net. That goes wide. We got a delayed call coming up here as the referee raises his hand and the whistle stops the play and someone's off to the box. And he's off to the box holding the call. He's got a fistful of the other guy's sweater. I don't think there's yeah. much complaint here. Hershey's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. The power play can move the puck quicker, but what they really need is to get a little more traffic around the front of the net. Make it a crowded area. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Pilos won the draw here in the offensive zone. Now a quick pass to Carr. Rips it on net, and he comes up with the save. Steps in and takes the puck. Hartford's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. Puck moved back to center, forcing them to regroup. He says, let's get physical on that play. Centering pass, blocker save, and he's showing up big time tonight. Hershey's gained possession along the boards. Through center along the wing. And a good use of the body to knock the puck loose. And a successful clearing attempt. First period nearly in the books here. Hartford's penalty killing unit delivers in a big way. Both sides back to even strength. Well, the only thing that happened on that power play was the clock rolled along. Very few chances, not much danger. Pass stolen in the open ice. There's the whistle. Penalty coming up. The Wolfpack have been called for tripping on the play. Played with fire, he got burned, Ray. Oh, he's digging around for the puck, and sometimes you just get caught. This time the player goes down, and he's got to go to the box. The Bears send their man advantage unit out once more. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Clearing attempt. And 
and the puck departs the zone. There's a whistle as the official's calling for a penalty here. We got a minor penalty coming up here. Sure, James. I mean, this call was going to be made. You could see the play develop, and now they're going to have to serve two minutes. The Bears once again send out their power play unit. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. We got a delayed penalty coming up. That trip right in front of the officials' eyes. Can't get away with that. The Bears, they're going to be shorthanded, tripping the call. Reaching for the puck, trying to be in position. You're just a little bit away, and then you get nabbed for tripping. Yeah, it's always tough to use the I got stuck excuse, right? It never works. period really both teams still filling each other out here as we are still scoreless hey fans great tickets are still available to our next home game please visit the box office and get them while they last and while both teams get a refresher we'll take one ourselves heading into the second period Well, let's see what period two has in store for us as they are about to drop the puck. The Bears start the period off on the right note, winning the draw, and their man advantage unit gets going. Trying to clear the puck from his own end, and they do just that. I thought they did a pretty good job there, James. That's a time you can get yourself running around in the zone. They didn't get there. Pumps the puck away. Hartford's got it in their own zone. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. The Bears have it against the wall. Smart defensive play there. And he regains control of the puck. The Bears fail to capitalize on the power play. Well, a good power play is about 20%, James. That one falls in the other 80%. They don't get it done. The power play expires. Hartford's got a brief window on the power play with their penalty expired. Made the stop on that play. We'll get another look at that hit. I don't know if he thought he had more room than that, but he doesn't. That's a big hit right there on the body. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Still looking for our first goal. Pelos won it in their own end. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. And now it's grabbed by Pilo. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. Picks up the puck in his own end. Maintains possession. Pass to Brodzinski. Here's a short pass to Carr. He was locked in there. Oh, he flares up the arm with the blocker. Makes a pretty good save here. The centermen glide into position. Hershey's won the draw. Slides it back to the blue line. And here's a shot. Close save. Hartford's got possession here in their own end. Pins them against the boards as they battle for the loose puck. Takes that one right in the logo. And there's the whistle stopping the play. And with the two tied up off the faceoff, a great read to grab possession of the puck. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. And he breaks up the opportunity in front with a poke check. Sends the pass over. Takes a nice feed up through the middle now. Solid hit on that play. Hartford's got it in their own zone. And now it's over to Thompson. 
This one hits in the back of the net. He scores! He kept moving in that high slot, looking for an area that might be open. Then the puck's on and off his stick. Nice shot. Hartford's jumped out to a one-goal lead here in the second. Breaking the tie was critical. Now you can play in front and try and dictate the pace of the game. Throws it in. Hartford's got it behind the net. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Scoops up the puck now. From along the walls, they're gaining momentum. Dumps it in. The Bears gain control of the puck against the wall. Hershey's looking to break out. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. Takes the puck behind the net. Great read by the goalie as he pokes it away with a stick. That's not going to fool him. made an excellent stop here. He follows the puck and shuts down the scoring chance. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. Hartford's up one zip. That's a smart read with the two centermen tied up. Feeds the puck to Strong. The Bears have it now. Pilos got it along the wing. And it's a quick pass to Nieves. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Hartford's got the puck in the defensive end. Hershey's got a hold of it against the wall. Jostles the puck loose. Tries to make that cross ice feed. Gets a hold of the puck from the right side. Nice pass. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. Knocks the puck loose after a solid hit. Here's a chance. Gobbles that puck up with his chest. Play set to resume with the faceoff ready to go. They take possession as he locks him up off the faceoff. Well, the officials have tried to keep things in line, and yet another penalty call here. The Bears are going to be shorthanded because of a tripping call. Once he puts up his little token argument here, he's going to circle around a bit and try and regroup here as he goes to the penalty box. Were you box. a haggler? Always. You never think it's the right call. Back to the face-off circle. They'll send the man advantage unit out again. You gotta have a short memory on a power play. You haven't scored yet tonight, but that can't matter on this one. Get the puck back to the point. Start moving it around and get people converging at the net. The Wolfpack have taken possession along the wall. Takes it and looks ahead. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. Turn that chance aside. Still lots of time left here in this frame. Hartford's ahead, 1-0. Jones is quick on the draw. Here's a chance. Scooped up along the wall by Jones. What a steal in his own end. He got all of that one. The Wolfpack have taken possession in their own end. Hartford's on the attack. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Oh, he went top corner. Oh, the top's going to be perfect every time. He's going for that top part of the net. He just missed it. The Wolfpack have gained possession off the wall. Both sides are evened up now as the power play expires. Oh, well, they're not going to do a much better job than that last penalty kill all night. They've been really efficient killing penalties. They go on the attack through center. Quick pass to Strong. Pokes it away. Excellent hand-eye coordination. Ahead of steam now towards the front. The Bears gain possession along the wall. Moves it quickly over to Johansson. The Bears looking against the half wall. 
through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. And that pass goes awry. Moves it to Thompson. Drives to the sweet spot. Stopped by the goaltender. No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Denies him! Dead center, excellent save. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Kincaid's on top of this. That's an enormous stop on a scoring chance. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. 1-0 is where we sit at this point. And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. Tosses it on to Thompson. And that one's broken up. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. The setters will glide into the dot. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Effective use of the paddle on that one. Denies him again. Hershey's got the puck against the boards. Hartford's got it in their own zone. Slides the puck across. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Takes the pass. Stopped by the goaltender. Somehow the shooter got loose in the slot, but the goaltender's equal to the task. That's a good save. Hartford's got it against the boards. With possession along the wall. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Blocked in traffic. The Bears scoop it up along the boards. Hershey's got the puck behind the net. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. The Wolfpack have gained control of the puck along the wall. Nieves plays it against the boards. Here's a shot. Puts it in for the goal, and the rookie is on the board. What a nice way to jump into your first playoff year. You get on the board, and you can relax a bit. This is a perfect shot placed up over the high blocker side. The goaltender can't get a stick on it. He doesn't get his blocker on it. He's down in the butterfly, I think, a little too soon. The Wolfpack have a commanding 2-0 lead. What's the message on the bench here now? Don't sit back yet. Still try to attack. Still try to push the play. Go get a third one if you can. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. There's the whistle stopping the play. Assisted by number 91. Now you react, you go to get the puck, and you stick your stick into the guy's feet. Down you go. Two minutes off to the box. Time of the goal. 16 minutes. Power play unit going back to work. Coaches have been on the bench showing the iPad highlights to the players of their previous power plays. They got a chance here again to get on the board. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. The Bears have it behind the cage. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Excellent stick work on the play. Move to the middle. Chance in front. Blocker save. Sharp reaction save. Kincaid's been on his game right since the puck hit the ice for the first time. No matter how much pressure he's been under, he's been calm and he's stopped everything so far. Late goings of this period. Hartford's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. Picked up along the wall by Pilon. Referee signaling for a penalty. Looks like we got a hooking call coming up. And another stop. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. And the official signaling for hooking on the play. You gotta move your feet here. You're chasing the play. As soon as you stop your feet, you're gonna get called. The Bears could really open things up with a five-on-three power play. 
biggest problem a five-on-three power play has is that everybody realizes what a great advantage it is. So everybody stands there waiting to shoot the puck. Nothing happens when the puck moves slowly. Hershey's got a hold of it along the wall. Approaching the final 60 seconds here in the second. Lugs the puck into the offensive zone corner. Getting a little too physical to maintain possession. And they get some breathing room as the puck leaves the defensive end. Now he takes it over the line. From point blank. Oh, what a stop by the goaltender. There's no thinking there. That's just a flat-out desperation save. Kincaid's been perfect so far. He's kind of doing this all by himself. So busy, and he's been phenomenal tonight. Hershey's had their opportunities, but they still trail late in this second period. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. Puts it on net, and there's the save. Kincaid's goaltending at one end and the offensive output at the other has made for a good night. And there's the wrap-up cue for period number two. Hartford's been excellent in their own end. They have given up absolutely nothing, and they lead a two-zip. Which one of your team players has the hardest shot? Who do you think is the fastest skater? We'll answer all of those questions at our skills competition. For Don't go anywhere. Third period is just around the corner. Season. Check our website out or call us here at the stadium. Alongside Ray Ferraro between the benches, I'm James Sabalski, ready to bring you period number three. Hartford's shorthanded unit has done a solid job to this point. Just a few more seconds to spare as they win the draw. The Bears get a hold of the puck along the boards. And the man advantage fails to pay off as both teams are back at even strength. I really like the way that these guys have killed penalties. They have been perfect tonight. Take a penalty, kill it off. They don't look phased at all. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. Shuts him down. Trying to get back on the attack now. Let's it go. There's another stop. Stop one, stop two. The goalie makes a couple of excellent saves. Lots of time left in this period, and it's a 2-0 hockey game. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Hartford's got it now. Gets in front of it. Hershey's been the better team, but not necessarily boasting the better goaltender trailing early in the third. Buck has dropped and we are back underway. And he slides it quickly to Sprong. The Bears take it along the wall. Close save, and he handles it with ease. Kincaid's going to hang on for a whistle here in the third. Well, there's not much time left here as you get into the final 20 minutes. The game's close. A mistake now would be critical. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Off the draw, and he ties up his opponent. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Picked up along the boards by Jones. Through the neutral zone, up along the wing. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. The Bears will play it from the defensive zone. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Glove save, and he made it look simple. Kincaid's got the puck, and he elects to hang on for a stoppage in play. Now we're in the third period, James. It's pretty safe to say he's been on top of his game tonight. Not much has given him a problem. The Bears will go to work here in the offensive zone. And that goes wide. Now, tough to generate a rebound even when the puck misses the net by that much. That pass goes a little sideways. Here's a shot, and that one's turned away. Hartford's got a hold of the puck. Quick feed to Thompson. Here's a shot off target. 
Obstruction penalty coming up. Looks like a hook here. And there's the whistle stopping the play. And it's going to be two minutes for hooking on the call. A lot of people debate, is this a lazy penalty, the hook? I don't know if it's lazy all the time, but it's a penalty of being out of position. Your stick's parallel to the ice. You get called all the time. Hartford's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. When you don't get many power plays, you really have to make them count. One goal could be a big difference maker. He grabs the puck here at the blue line. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Here's a shot. Just wide. Hershey's got the puck shorthanded. Here's a chance. Big time stop. The shooter's right in the guts of the ice, but the goalie squares up, spreads out, and makes the save. A chance in front. Big save. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. Takes the feed. Jabs the puck away. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. Sends it across. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Moves the puck along the half wall. Both teams are now back to even strength as the power play has expired. That's another penalty kill for them. They have done a tremendous job this evening killing penalties. At no point have they looked overly stressed. And he denied that opportunity. That's a dangerous scoring chance, but the goaltender makes a great save as he's able to snuff it out. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. 2-0 is the score. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Slides the puck over. They've got numbers. Hershey's got possession here in the offensive zone. From his own end, he picks up the puck. And now he moves it quickly to Sprong. Nice zone entry from the middle. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Pihon. Aaron pass, and the play's broken up. Tries to feed it over to Carr. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. And the play is whistled dead. Here's the call. So often in a, in a shifty little play, the, you're trying to get to the puck. You get your stick in the wrong spot. He steps on your stick, and there's nothing you can do. The Bears send their man advantage unit out once more. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Hartford's in now. Set it out in front. Let's it go. Denied by the goaltender. Hershey's got the puck along the wall. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Slides it across, and that one's broken up. Trying to dump it out. Big win for the shorthanded unit as they clear the puck from the zone. Yeah, no one's going to keep it in the zone when it goes off the glass at that speed. Hershey's got it along the wall. Puts a little mustard on the hit to knock the puck loose. Can't keep a hold of it. The Wolfpack have the puck against the boards. The Bears get nothing here on this power play. We're back to even strength. Well, back to even strength. The penalty killers do a really good job. They retain their lead on the backs of those four guys. Hangs onto the puck. Not able to connect. Takes the feet at the back end. From the blue line, they take control of it. Hartford's got it in their own zone. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Hershey's gained possession along the boards. With some open space at center. Hershey's on the attack. Traps that puck tight to his chest. Reflexes were tested on this wrister. Quick delivery on the scoring chance. Here in the back half of this period, Hartford's got some breathing room as they lead it 2-0. The Bears win the draw. Receives the pass. Hartford's got control of it now from their own end. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Sends the cross-ice pass. Hartford's got the puck along the wall. He scores! Expect that your young guys are going to carry your team, but he
and he's on the board with his first career playoff goal. Uh, goalie burps up this rebound here. It comes right back into the shooting area, and the rebound is put away. Hartford's all smiles on the bench next to you, aren't they? Yeah, they're having lots of fun. Not so much on the other side, where this night has been a nightmare. And a solid job tying up his opponent. The Bears in transition at center. They've got the defense outnumbered. Centered out in front. Denies him in close. Yeah, he's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. Keeps hold of the puck. Wrists one. And that sails over the net. He likes to go up there. Most times, that's maybe the only open area on the net. Hartford's got it into the offensive zone. The Wolfpack have it now. Oh, denies him with the save! I think he got the blocker on it! Handles it along the blue line. Takes a shot, and a great save! Schilling's taken the puck behind his net. On the attack along the boards, and that's picked off! From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Nice poke check. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Made the save on the play. The Wolfpack have taken possession along the wall. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Nice feed from the right wing. Jostling for the puck, and he loses control. Into the offensive zone. Here's a shot denied by the goaltender. Pretty good shot. The goalie's able to get the blocker up on it and put it aside. In the final moments of this period, Hartford's got a 3-0 lead. They have been in control right from the start. Locks them up on the draw as they take possession. Moves the puck. Moves into the slot. Puts it high. Yeah, it sounds great. Hit the net, though. You got a better chance to score. Centering pass. Takes a wrist shot. Oh, and he just puts it wide of the net. The Bears can only shake their collective head. That's another chance, and they don't get anything for it. Takes the feed. Move to the middle. A chance from the slot. And scores! That's four straight on fire. They are so hot right now. Every pass, every shot is right in the perfect place. When you get into this position, that puck's got to be off your stick in a hurry. You don't have much time to think about it. The Wolfpack have looked good. You're paid the big bucks to be the analyst. Can you find any flaws in their game tonight? Not tonight. This has been almost perfect. This is such a large margin that they have. They can do anything as they kind of cruise to the victory. That pass doesn't go. Hartford's moving it along the wing. They'll change things up on the back end as that's in and deep. Urkamps picks up the puck. Sends a pass over. There's an offside stopping the clock late in this one. The centermen glide into position. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. That's broken up in the neutral zone. Hartford's dominance tonight can be attributed to the way that they played positionally. They've smothered the game, and they are way out in front. The Bears played along the boards. Let's the wrister go. Nice save by the keeper to trap that puck in his chest. Getting into the later stages of this period. Hartford's latest goal has now given them a four-goal lead. And a good read to get possession there with the two centermen tangled up. Under a minute to go here in regulation time. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Hartford's got it across the line. Good defensive effort to poke it away. A chance! And he'll likely feel that one in the morning. They fight for it along the boards. 
The Wolfpack have gained possession off the wall. Huge steal in his own end. Cutting to the slot. Stones him in front. We often talk about a goalie's reflexes. You've got to have quick hands to make a glove stop like that. Takes possession off the draw. Hartford's looking to break out. Hershey's got a hold of it against the wall. And he slides it quickly to Jones. And they send it right back to him. And he handles the cross ice pass. Handles the puck. One. This series is all evened up, and there's one guy to really credit for this one. He was terrific in goal, gets the shutout. Now, in theory, it doesn't really matter whether you win 7-5 or if you get a shutout, but the goaltender feels a heck of a lot better about himself, and now he can push over with confidence into the next game. On behalf of Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. Thanks for joining us. Good night.